Spot Road Mania, episode 167, countdown to the slingshot effect. And once again, we happen to find ourselves at how do I, Capital Brewery here in Madison, in Middleton, with Ben from Sunspot and Wendy from Sunspot. Imagine what a coincidence. And, and Mike <laughs> from Sunspot. <laughs> So, just in case you missed that, the first 166 episodes. Right. So, what's everybody been up to this week? We've been working hard, getting ready for the party. Are you going to be there? I can see that. Hey, hey, look. <laughs> work, right here. You're right, you're right. There's um, work. Yes, I'm going to be there, obviously. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to them. Fair enough. See but them the, all? Okay, yes, but the pointing's right at me, so it freaks me out. All right. Anyway, the release party, we're getting more and more things lined up for it, so we've got some exciting new sponsors. Ben? There's gonna be some free beer. What? There's gonna be free what? beer? Come early. Come Wait, at seven. For, for advanced ticket holders only. Come That's at right. 6 It's gonna be free. Yep, come at 6.59 because there will be free beer. Uh, and what else is gonna be there? Oh, there's also gonna be some pizza. Pizza from a strange, wow. from from a certain rubbery character that we all <laughs> know. Guy. And who would that rubbery green man be? That'd be uh, Gumby. Yeah. And, Maybe even we, some, we do love pokey sticks, and that's right. So we just added those sponsors. Plus, we've got oh Rock Rocker Rock. <laughs> Vodka on board, and he's going to be doing tastings uh, right at seven o'clock to eight o'clock. So the people that buy advance tickets are going to get yeah, it's it's smooth. Try the Rocker Aid tasting. Yeah, <laughs> smooth with a V. Anyway, we're happy to support all these businesses. Uh, you know. Um, uh, that are Madison based and we use it all the time. Gumby's was my college pizza of choice, I believe. I, there were yes, several. Many, dinner, like six many a gut bomb days. was consumed. <laughs> yeah, the destroyer. Come on, I used to get the destroyer. <laughs> no, actually, with Gumby's, 1998, my 22nd birthday, I specifically requested a Gumby's cheese and pineapple for my birthday. Um, so. Did you get it? Yes, I did. Well, thank God. So it was very nice. But anyway, just saying that uh, we do love all these companies. We love all our sponsors. So countdown to the slingshot effect. Um, it's pretty sweet. And yes. speaking of the countdown to the slingshot effect, remember last week when we had the little contest thingy? Yes, we do. For liking the video on Facebook? I remember. Well, How can I forget? The shout out goes to... Ta -da -da -da. All right, so Tim. Thank you. Tim, thank you. you are the balls and the shaft, my friend. Thank you very much. So you That's get the shout out. By the way. That is a compliment. So you get the <laughs> shout out this week, my friend. And thanks to everyone who posted. We really do appreciate you guys spreading the word and trying to get as many people out for the party as possible. Because it's going to be a good time. November 18th. Don't miss it. So that was a little bit of Star Trek 4. And the thing is, in Star Trek 4, they use the slingshot effect to go flying around the sun and uh, go back in time to 1986. And since uh, the slingshot effect's about time travel, we thought we'd talk a little bit about our favorite time travel movies. Now, I have about one million favorite time travel movies, but today, my favorite is Time After Time from 1970. I'm not talking about the Cyndi Lauper song, even though that song has a very, very special place in my heart. I'm talking... Let me just set it up for you. We've got two awesome people. One is David Warner. You've probably seen David Warner in uh, The Omen. He was the manservant in Titanic. Remember the manservant that was hunting down Leonardo DiCaprio? David Warner was in there. David Warner was also um, uh, in uh, Star Trek VI. Um, please, he's played Klingons. He, David Warner's played just about everybody, good guys and bad guys. Uh, and also has Malcolm McDowell. You know Malcolm McDowell from a little bit of the old ultraviolence from Clockwork Orange, he's Alex. Uh, Malcolm McDowell also played Sauron, the man that kills Captain Kirk in Star Trek Generations, uh, which really uh, didn't need to happen, but that's okay. Anyway, two awesome actors. You get uh, Malcolm McDowell playing H.G. Wells. Um, H.G. Wells, awesome author, and he takes a time machine to come to the late 20th century to hunt down David Warner, who plays Jack the Ripper. And it's directed by Nicholas Meyer, who also directed Star Trek. So that's my pick. Check it out.
I think my favorite time travel movie would have to be uh, the trilogy of Terminator. Um, I can't decide what my favorite part is. The original, I'll be back. Or uh, from the second one, the part with the milk carton where, where he's got that blade uh, through the face. Or uh, in the third one, uh, that that chase between the, uh, the fire truck and that giant crane. That's all pretty awesome. Um, or the part where he, uh, he said, I killed you. Uh, which is pretty, uh, um, wraps up the whole time travel thing uh, in a nutshell, which is pretty beautiful. And if you guys are coming to the release party, which you better be, um, ask Mike. He has a secret about the end of the first one. Ask him. My favorite time travel movie, I'd have to say, or one of my new favorites, is the movie Primer. It's, uh, apparently it came out in 2004, but it's brand spanking new to me because I just saw it last year. Um, but anyway, this is the movie, what I like about it is it's a real modern day, actual guys, nerds in their garage making a time machine. So it feels real and it's done in a real indie budget, but it, not that that matters, but it just gave me this ex extremely uneasy feeling of like this could actually happen. And also, because it was super, super confusing, I had to go on the internet and look up this little <laughs> explanation, a primer for primer, if you will, and it explains like, how the guys keep confusing themselves for their future and past selves and whatnot. And even better than that, if that doesn't do it for you, this timeline. My brother and I saw the movie and we actually went through the entire thing because we, we were unsure of some of the events. So anyway, it's a great movie and it, it really uh, dabbles in the consequences of like messing with time and the future and the past. And I highly recommend it. All right, so that was some of our favorite time travel movies. Now, don't forget, if you put this on your Facebook wall and share it, the person that gets the most likes this week gets a shout-out in next week's Countdown to the Slingshot Effect Sunspot Road Mania. And what's happening on Monday? Oh, a special surprise on Monday, which won't be a surprise after I tell you. What's that? We're going to release one of the songs, a sneak preview, so you guys can get a little taste. So Slingshot Effect. It'll be a special Halloween what? Halloween video. Woo! Yeah, Halloween treat is what I was thinking, but a video <laughs> works out too. Anyway, uh, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time on Sunspot Road Radio! Episode 167. Cheers. Wow.